Hi, this afternoon my name is Bruce McBurney and I want to teach you how to build high quality colloidal silver machines. There's been a lot of controversy and a lot of misunderstandings with this product colloidal silver because people are not making it properly and then because they're not making it properly they're not getting the proper uh, results and this is uh, give negative information to the product. Basically to make colloidal silver we use a microwave oven. Uh, jokingly, I say it's the best use for a microwave oven. Uh, microwaves are not healthy, they're not good for people, it causes uh, impotence in older men and sterility in younger um, uh, men, younger boys. And uh, Russia and China at one time have all banned it for microwaves for cons domestic consumption. Uh, but at any rate, we won't get into that. Basically, what we do is you'd get a microwave oven, and it has to be a good working unit. Uh, when I do it, I buy new units and basically uh, retrofit them into a silver machine. The, uh, what you want to do to start out with is test the microwave, make sure that it's making the water, you know, put a glass of water in and it's going to get hot, and that everything's working good on the microwave for the different programs. And at that point, if you know the microwave is working well, then you just simply start removing the screws for the back cover. And on, um, on a lot of microwaves, most microwaves, you'll find that some screws are what they call a security screw. You're not going to find the regular tip that's going to fit them. So you basically have to take the screw, take a hacksaw, and I would lay this straight forward, and cut a slot in the screw to basically show, uh, have a little slot in the screw that you can put a flat screwdriver in there and remove the screw. I basically discard them afterwards. Uh, the thing is, and this is one thing you have to understand, that with a microwave, once you remove this cover, if you plug it in and you run it and you tested it for making water, this is throwing off lethal microwaves and this is why the cover must be on to run the machine. There's safety interlocks so that the, 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 the machine will not work unless the door is shut. Also, if you look on microwaves, there's this perforated holes, this fine screen, which is a metal screen to stop the microwaves from coming out. So it's very important that once you remove the back of the microwave, don't plug it in, don't play with it, don't try it anymore. You basically remove the back of the microwave, they kind of like push together and slide back. And we'll just put that off to the side here. We then take the microwave, and if you look at this unit here, you have a control board, a power transformer, and a magnetron. The magnetron is the device that makes the microwaves when it's in the off position, there's no radiation or anything coming from it. Basically, we remove the plugs from the microwave, uh, the magnetron, and remove the magnetron uh, completely, and then use the voltage. There's three different leads that come off of here. There's one lead that comes down to the capacitor and then goes back to the magnetron. That's the very high voltage lead, and the other connection is to the ground of the transformer. You can actually look at the transformer and see a connection on the transformer where the other end of this coil, which is a very fine wire, is connected to the ground. So the one wire that's going to the capacitor and the ground are your two power supplies. Now we remove all this and basically we just show you this next machine here. This has the magnetron removed and the wires, the power going in. All right. The basically there's two extra wires here that aren't being used, and it just goes into the unit. Now in the unit, we we'll just pull this on. Oh, it have a, a plexiglass plate that is suspended with chains, and we have little cup hooks up inside the machine. And you want this unit to be suspended just a little bit off center with the foot of the bars about an inch off the ground, off the plate. The 